<laughs> How's it feel, Mexico, with the shoe on the other foot? How's it feel when you got people flooding across the border and you can't take care of them? So here's the situation. Mexican officials from Sonora are upset of the amount of Mexicans flooding back into Mexico. Sonoran officials traveled to Tucson to complain about Arizona's new employer crackdown on illegals from Mexico. Their employer sanctions law. Now, it'll have devastating effects on the Sonoran state resources such as housing, jobs, and schools. Mexican representative Leticia Amparano Yamez from Nogales stated. She said, how can they pass a law like this? Not one person in Sonora who does not have a friend, uh, there's not one person in Sonora who does not have a friend or relative working in Arizona. Mexico is not prepared for problems arise from Mexicans returning without jobs or money many of whom sent money back to Mexico to support families. We are one family economically and socially. So here you go. You've got Mexican officials complaining about their own citizens coming back across the border. You've got Mexican officials warning their illegal citizens here in America, and as I stated in our previous report, to go ahead and hide because they're going to come get you and deport you. Hey, man, it's time to wake up, America. We are being flooded by illegal immigrants, and not just from Mexico. They're coming from China. They're coming from South America. They're coming from African countries. They come from Europe, for God's sakes. We've got millions of people in this country that we are supporting and it's coming out of your pocket, man. Your pocket and my pocket. And, and they just continue to keep flooding in thinking they have a right to be here. Guess what? It is not a right to come to America. It is a privilege. I want to go ahead and read something to you guys real quick. I'm just going to read it. You got to stick with me because these are immigration laws. I want you to hear this. I want you to hear this. Listen close. Number one. No special bilingual class will be in schools. Number two, all ballots are in the nation's language. Number three, all government business will be conducted in our language. Number four, non-residents will never have the right to vote no matter how long they live here. Number five, non-citizens will never be able to hold political office. Number six, foreigners will not be a burden on taxpayers, no welfare, no food stamps, no health care, or any other government assistance. Anyone who is a burden on the system will be deported. Number seven, foreigners can invest in this country but it must be at least 40,000 times the daily minimum wage. Number eight, if foreigners come here and buy land, their options will be restricted. Certain, certain parcels, including waterfront property, are reserved for citizens naturally born in our country only. Number nine, foreigners may have no protests Foreigners may have no demonstrations. Foreigners may not wave a flag of a foreign country. Foreigners may not do political organizing. Foreigners may not badmouth our president and or his or her policies. This will lead to deportation. Number 10. If you do come to this country illegally, you will be actively hunted and when caught, sent to jail until your deportation can be arranged. All your assets will be taken from you. Does that sound pretty severe? Guess what? Those 
are Mexico's in immigration policies and laws. That's right. That's how Mexico treats immigrants. And we, as Americans, are so lax in our policies that we just have got this attitude of intolerance and they think that they have a right to come here. Yet people immigrating to Mexico have to abide by these 10 strict, very strict laws. So that's my report on that. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope y'all woke you guys up. If you want to find the Mexican immigration laws, go ahead and look them up. They're all over Google. Just type it in. So that's the report. My name is Johnny Jetrod, reporting for All Americans First News. If you like what we're doing here, give us a thumbs up, share this report, tap that bell for future notifications, and subscribe to the channel. And I just want to say, thank you, America.